So hi all. Um, I completely agree that being new to anesthesia, being the first year, it becomes quite confusing how to approach it. Now, even though I have made a separate video on how to approach the anesthesia residency for separate years, first, second or third year, still people will have a doubt what all sources are good enough to complete the PG and the life afterward PG becomes smooth also. Now, first thing I should tell you whether to decide you should go for Marrow or Speed or any other app. There, there are several other apps and want to spend this much money for a limited subscription or even for a lifelong subscription. Is it worth it? Now you will have to decide it based on several factors that I'm going to discuss now. The first thing before deciding the apps or the source is to decide what is your life aim now remember you have already cleared your mbbs you are into your md now please stop running like a mad person continuously life is has life has to have has to have some changes and this is the stage when you change your thinking your thinking of being competitive, you're thinking of getting ahead of everyone will not help you now. I completely understand self-improvement is important, but self-improvement does not mean that you continue to gather a lot of information from here and here and here and here and make those diverse notes. These things are not going to help. You have to have segregated knowledge for your real life for conducting cases and you got to have the knowledge which is only important for clearing your theory and practicals if you don't segregate this you are going to become a mess now the segregation real life segregation does not require you to have uh, to remember a lot of facts only 10 to 20 percent of the full knowledge will ultimately be used because if you have a simplified version in your mind then only you'll be able to apply into your real life but the things which are very volatile extremely volatile and they're not useful in your day-to-day -day life most of them being a part of your theory and practical then for them you have to have segregate knowledge you can't keep on using this this knowledge in your real life continuously you, you need not remember all those things for your real life cases now then what should we do the aim is to prepare such notes which will help you lifetime if you're reading lab cholecystic timing now it is not about what will be the gas rate of gas uh, inflation <clears throat> and what what gases uh, can be used you already know that CO2 is used. You already know that ultimate pressure should be this. So segregating those practical points from the theory point is the importance, is the main aim. Now for that, whether you buy Marrow, whether you buy any app, none of the app segregate this knowledge. So this knowledge segregation, no matter from where you have gathered the information, this knowledge segregation is going to be done by you. I have my notes segregated. Um, then in, even, in, even in my SR ship, these same notes I'm going to read. It will take me only five minutes to see if I'm going to perform a, perform a single case. Only those five minutes are required to know what practically I should do. Now this knowledge segregation will require you to work in OT and add your practical day-to-day uh, -day learnings into the notes which are not given in your books, which are not given in your marrow. So if in real life they are not required, why should you at, at all focus on those things? They become like a uh, FOMO. You, you always will have a free fear of missing out but the aim is to develop your motor skills and the notes which will help you conduct a case ultimately. 
and then keep on troubleshooting the complications that you have now let's focus on the three years this third year i have already told you that you have to got to read previous year questions you got to read cases for your practicals right now people will say sir in marrow will have these things i completely understand if you but if someone is looking for one of the best alternatives then we have several youtube resources like apec this is conducted by rml hospital then we have isa national nhq national headquarters then we have channel for isa kerala all right <coughs> so these are free resources apec is being conducted by rml and it is a seven day program and every day 10 to 12 topics are covered now this 10 to 12 topics will consist of cases also equipment also drugs important topics some good complications and uh, one one of the day is also dedicated for learning the topics of icu so this is one of the best resources now you may ask me sir if everything is given here why sh at all should we uh, do the segregation part because even apic has not segregated things when you will see this is about discussions the cases are discussed discussed in apic and these discussions will help you see uh, what all questions can be asked in your practical so for practical apic is one of the best thing and a uh, few of the topics for theory also are covered in the apic so some part of theory some part of theory suppose 20 percent of theory and for practicals i am telling you 80 percent of the practicals will be covered by apic, APIC itself and when you'll add previous year questions topics which have been asked in the last 10 years into this now though obviously the sources will not matter because you have to ultimately write only two three three pages for that question that will complete your theory and that will complete your practical so that means your pg is clear now if your pg is cleared why are you worried about taking marrow the people who have a aim of giving neat ss or want to give some quizzes now this or suppose they want to do critical care now these are the alternatives the person who want to do more than just completing pg for neat ss i uh, even iraq like right? if you want to go to united kingdom uh, uk for these people i understand that the slavish is the most important thing the slavish is not equal for them so first if you have one of these aims inside your head first decide your slavish i was one of the person who who knew that I, from among these i'll be participating in quizzes and once i went to the quizzes i could make out that apic or marrow or whatever any app they are not going to help because quizzes is all about rare topics most of them are the rare topics and for them you will only be able to realize the slippers when you attend the quizzes and then try to improve in the next second quiz and third quiz and fourth quiz so the more quizzes and this also uh, is not a compulsion because you're not getting anywhere even if you win a quiz you know, you're going to stay in the same pg so this is something known as out of interest thing so quizzes will help you build confidence in yourself and your depending on your interest if you want to participate or not if first if one person does not attend quiz and one person is attending regular quizzes ultimately both of them are passing the post graduation and they are conducting cases in your, in their regular life trust me it does not matter whether you attended it or not this is just a way people uh, either escalate their own confidence or they try to de-escalate others confidence that you were the you you did not attend quizzes or you did attend the quiz this is just a mental game but the next three 
the the knee tests the critical care and it act i do understand this this is going to affect your career so try to see what is the syllabus for that and if the syllabus will include your mcqs obviously marrow will help so with this marrow or other any other help if they are focusing on these knee tests exam critical care exam or even the idac exam you see the syllabus check whether the syllabus is covered in this and if you have additionally mcqs because marrow has mcqs inside inside it and then you try to give similarly similar to the need need pg then you'll giving will be giving the grand test and so on so if you have the purpose decided if you are going to give need test as critical care or idac exam then this will help definitely plus try to take advice from people who who have common interests but those who have no uh intention of giving knee tests no critical care or idac and they want to stay in india and conduct cases for example me if i want to do locum if i want to go to periphery and earn money because there you will be doing simple cases simple cases and you will not be working in big hospitals you will not be working in government hospitals in that case if you just want to conduct cases quantity wise simple cases and earn money in going to the periphery or doing locum trust me none of this above scenario will help you so this depends on the priority of the person and second then there are people who are confused whether they will be doing this or they will be doing this because on the other only two options you have so for those who are confused there is no point uh worrying about uh marrow right now try to complete your pg try to complete the first second third year the way i have told you third year is already cleared by previous year exams uh, questions and apic the first year you want to improve your promoter skills and procedure skills the second is obviously the bridging part of the first and second where you'll be uh, for framing the notes for your cases and these notes will help you lifetime for doing cases either in periphery or local one of the disadvantage of the of doing these specialities is you will be narrowing down your uh, uh your branch suppose you are doing neuroanesthesia this neuro you will be conducting only neuroanesthesia and you will be only working in big hospital in big cities which will <coughs> definitely not improve your salary as as much as you think so if you are not earning money you and and you have limited your city you have limited your hospitals you have limited your cases to neuro do you th- really think that is going to make any difference i personally feel that this is uh, like a trap neat assess is a trap but people who are interested in a specific branch i have absolutely no issue if you want to give neat assess or going want to get into ini cet and get into aims want uh, aims name in front of you for those people who are already clear about it absolutely take marrow do mcqs do grand test leave pg aside and uh, that is your choice you know similarly for adak who want to go outside india there is no point uh, torturing yourself with uh, all these things try to clear up the the adak thing get out of india live your life so for i guess this 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 is this much will summarize that whether you should take marrow or not depending on what your priorities and ultimate aim is <clears throat> and these are the free resources that i've already told apic ic national headquarters in kerala you will have all the equipments all the drugs all the cases discussed i personally followed all all of the three i actually added uh, these three into my notes because once you see it from one place and made notes into segregated notes then the second and third part will be only about listening and adding the additional part only very like 5% of it because they have overlapping knowledge only you don't have to worry too much about it the this apart from this reading books or not becomes a person's discretion because third year it uh, is already cleared uh, by these two approaches the first and second year will be now depend will be based on 
what will be your aim ultimately after the third year if still you have confusion specific confusion uh, let me know i'll help you guys thank you Thank <laughs> you.